senior manager at Google and he conducted a meeting on algorithm history. Let us take a peek into what he spoke about it. He started the meeting by stating that an algorithm is a predefined self-contained set of instructions that can be used to perform a variety of tasks. A few years back, Google was making very few changes in terms of algorithms. But things changed in recent years where Google updated the algorithm quite rapidly with a significant impact on SERP results. Also, most of the updates went completely unnoticed because of the lesser impact. Let's see some of the examples of significant updates. Let us first talk about the Panda update. On Feb 23, 2011, Panda was first introduced. The Panda name was based on the engineer who first identified this algorithm. This update was aimed to lower the rankings of low quality sites, to such as those that provide little value to users, replicate content from other websites, or are simply not very useful. Simultaneously, it will help to promote and improve the ranks of unique content by doing the extensive study. After the upgrade, ranks for poorly designed, poorly written, repetition of major keywords in a single paragraph, and high number of adverts in content were severely decreased. Next, we talk about the Penguin update. In the timeline of 2010-12, apart from poor content, another trend was to perform spammy link building activities. It is also called black hat tactics. To crack down that, on March 26, 2012, the Penguin algorithm was first introduced. Previously to this algorithm, there was a practice of ranking websites depending on the number of connections they received. As a result, irrespective of content quality, the bigger the volume, the higher the rating. Spammers take advantage of this and start producing plenty of links with no regard for relevance. This algorithm was the ideal response to such acts. Next, we talk about the Hummingbird update. Hummingbird update was first introduced on September 26, 2013. This algorithm was the biggest advancement in search technology. It had something to do with how users interacted with search results and it affected over 90% of search queries. Search results got more personalized as a result of this algorithm, which focused on the context of the query. It focuses on three major components, conversational search, human search, and foundation of voice search. In conversational course, users will be able to get specialty results based on their queries instead of generic ones due to the capability of natural language processing. Users may search with even long tail searches because of the hummingbird's ability to analyze intent. And in human search, by providing information of the things that users don't know and helping them with custom search, it has become more human. And lastly, in foundation of voice search, there is a search increased as a result of the aim and context behind the hummingbird resulting in the voice search. Additionally, local search results grew more exact as a result of it. And voice assistants such as Alexa and Google Home have aided local businesses in gaining foot traffic. Lastly, we have the BERT update. On October 25, 2019, Google announced the BERT update. Full form of BERT is Bidirectional Encoder Representations for Transformers. It was the biggest change to Google search in the last five years. It improved search query understanding. It analyzed search queries and not web pages. It created a greater impact on search rankings and featured snippets. 
on December 9, 2019, it was rolled out globally. Google is on a quest to organize the world's knowledge in a way that it both accessible and beneficial. Their algorithms are improving at offering a fantastic user experience in their search results, but it is still work in progress. Mr. Weston concluded the meeting by stating that each algorithm change advances their objective of providing the finest possible search results. He then briefed everyone about the next meeting on Google Quality Rater.